Okay, good morning students. In this uh, video session, we have to talk about the next topic. So today's topic is a uh, uh, structure of pineal gland. Previous class, we have already discussed that that is a pituitary gland. It is also known as a master gland and uh, those secretions. So in this video lecture, we have to talk about the pineal gland. So this uh, pineal gland, it is uh, located in the dorsal side of the dorsal side of the brain okay actually this uh, uh, pineal gland it is uh, located in the epithalamus what is the epithalamus epithalamus it is a part of brain okay so in that epithalamus area it is consisting the small structure the small gland so that gland is known as a pineal gland it is the smallest endocrine gland among the all endocrine gland. The largest gland, the la largest endocrine gland is a thyroid gland which is present in the neck area. The largest gland is a thyroid gland. The smallest endocrine gland is a pineal gland. So this pineal gland, it is located in the dorsal side of the brain or the center of brain or the epithalamus of brain. This is the very, very important. And this, uh, uh, pineal gland it is about 0.8 centimeters long it is about 0.8 centimeters long and uh, it is about 0.1 uh, grams weight so that is the weight of the pineal gland and this pineal gland it is also known as a it is also known as a third eye it is known as a third eye so which is known as a third eye beta this pineal gland it is considered as a third eye so this is the very very important for the competitive examination so what is the actual function of this uh, smallest gland so this uh, smallest gland it is uh, responsible for the production of hormone so that hormone is known as a melatonin hormone okay so this pineal gland it is uh, producing a hormone so that hormone it is said to be the which hormone beta melatonin hormone what is the hormone name beta melatonin hormone okay uh, what is the functions of melatonin so this melatonin hormone it plays a significant role so what is the functions it uh, regulates the it uh, regulates the diurnal so that is the 24 hours uh, rhythm of body so our body it is uh, maintaining a rhythms okay so that uh, uh, biological rhythms it is a uh, controlled by the specialized hormone so that hormone is known as a melatonin hormone so this is the significance what is the significance beta melatonin plays a very important role in the regulation of 24 hours rhythm of the body it helps in the maintaining of the normal rhythms normal rhythms of sleep wake up cycle means the sleep and wake up so so these are uh, actions are under control by the help of hormone so that hormone is known as a melatonin hormone and it is also influencing on the body temperature means our temperature is regulated by the specialized hormone so that hormone is called as a melatonin hormone and uh, other uh, uh, functions of this uh, melatonin hormone is a it is influencing on the metabolisms it is influencing on metabolisms and the second function is a uh, it is uh, affecting on the um, pigmentation pigmentation is affected by the hormone so that hormone is known as a melatonin hormone and it is also influencing on the menstrual cycle what is the meaning of the menstrual cycle beta per 28 days in the females what happened beta the endometrium layer of the uterus it is going to rupturing so due to the rupturing of that uh, uh, layer what happened uh, the uh, blood will comes and that blood it is removing out through the vagina so that cycle is known as a menstrual cycle okay the menstrual cycle it is present in the primates it is present in the primates and it is present in the which organism beta mammals right so this is the very very important so that menstrual cycle it is regulated by the help of hormone so such hormone is known as a melatonin hormone what is the main role of melatonin so this melatonin it is regulating the 24 hours rhythm of body 
okay so this uh, melanin hormone how this melanin hormone is producing so this melanin hormone it is a produced by the which gland pineal gland right so this melatonin it is a stimulating the our body okay that is the sleep and wake up so this is the melatonin hormone so this is the melatonin hormone and this pineal gland it is a stimulated by the darkness so whenever the darkness so during the time so this pineal gland is a synthesizing the melatonin hormone means the melatonin hormone it is a releasing in our blood so during the which uh, during the which point beta during the darkness so uh, this pineal gland it is inhibited by the light so light is inhibiting the pineal gland so during that time so this pineal gland not do not secreting the uh, chemical so that is the melatonin so this pineal gland it is also considered as a third eye it is also considered as a third eye so this is the uh, very very important for the uh, competitive examination and uh, as well as uh, so this uh, hormone also Uh, help in the defensive mechanism it plays a major role in the which mechanism beta defensive mechanism so this is the very very important for the competitive examination so this is the pineal gland so this pineal gland it is located in the dorsal side of the brain or the center of brain it is considered as a third eye it is a, a responsible for the production of chemical so that chemical is known as a melatonin so after the, this pineal gland we have to talk about the next one so that is the thyroid gland next one is a thyroid gland so you have to see here beta next one is a thyroid gland the thyroid is the largest gland in our body so which is the largest gland beta endocrine endocrine the thyroid is a largest endocrine gland right so this is a thyroid gland uh, weight is uh, uh, 15 grams in males 13 grams in females so this is also known as a butterfly shaped gland so which gland is considered as a butterfly shape so the thyroid gland is also known as a butterfly shaped gland so what is the location of thyroid gland so this thyroid gland it is located in the neck area so in the about the trachea at the point of larynx so this is consisting the gland so this gland is known as a thyroid gland so this is also known as a butterfly shaped gland So let us talk about this uh, uh, gland beta. So what is the exact location? It is located either side of the trachea. It is located either side of the trachea. It is having a how many lobes? It is a consisting the two lobes. Thyroid gland. It is made up of by two lobes: the right lobe and the left lobe. And these lobes are composed by the different kinds of cells. So that cells are said to be the follicles and the stromal tissues. Means these thyroid gland it is a made by specialized cells so that cells are called as a follicular cells and uh, it is also containing the stromal tissue the combination of stromal tissue and a follicular cell it can make a lobe so that lobe is known as a, a thyroid lobe that is known as a thyroid lobe so this is the largest endocrine gland it includes the two lobes located on either side of the trachea the lobes are interconnected so you have to see here beta these two lobes are interconnected by a band like structure it is band like structure okay so that is said to be the isthmus what is the isthmus beta for example so this is the right lobe and this is the left lobe so the two lobes are interconnected two lobes are interconnected by the help of structure so that structure is called as isthmus now this structure is called as a isthmus and that isthmus it is a composed by the elastic it is composed by the connective tissue it is composed by the connective tissue so now the thyroid gland it is a composed of follicular cells and the stromal tissues let us we have to talk about that uh, uh, particular uh, point so here the follicular cells uh, follicular cells are the specialized cells of the thyroid gland so these cells are plays a major role to synthesizing the two kinds of hormones means the two hormones are producing from the this follicular cells the first hormone is a T3 hormone and the second hormone is a T4 hormone. Okay, T3 and T4 hormones it is a producing from the follicular cells. So this uh, T4 hormone it is also known as a tetraiodothyroxine. Tetraiodothyronine and T3 means uh, triiodothyronine. 
tetra and a tri iodothyronine iodo means so here the iodine is a specialized structure specialized molecule so that molecule it is a help in the production of thyroxine hormone so due to the lacking of iodine it is going to lead to disease so that disease is known as a uh, goiter disease so due to the lacking of that iodine element what happened beta disease is causing so that disease is called as a goiter disease so what is the symptoms of the goiter the thyroid thyroid gland is a and large that means the swelling is occurs in the inflammation inflammation is occurs in the which area in the thyroid gland so due to the lacking of due to the lacking of element so such element is called as a iodine element so that iodine it is available in the salt it is also available in the green vegetables so this is the very very important for the competitive examination so this is known as a simple goiter this is known as a simple goiter okay so due to the lacking of which element due to the lacking of the iodine element right so this is about the thyroid gland and uh, the second hormone is a thyrocalcitonin it is simply known as a tct thyrocalcitonin it is simply known as a tct so this is the hormone so which is a producing from the follicular cells next one so you have to see here better in this picture okay what is the functions of this t3 and t4 hormone a regulation of our metabolic rate so means these hormones are influencing on the our metabolic rate so that is simply known as a bmr basal metabolic rate it is a regulating by the help of t3 and t4 hormone what is the second function the second function is a, it is influencing on the physical mental and the sexual development of human body our physical and the mental and the sexual development it is influencing by the hormones so such hormones are known as a thyroid hormones right next one is a thyroxine t3 t4 hormone complete functions beta what is the complete functions uh, the first function is a it is a regulating the our basal metabolic rate and the, it is affecting on the uh, sexual and the mental and the physical development and the supports it is supports the formation of rbc what is the uh, formation of rbc beta the formation of rbc is known as a erythropoiesis so formation is known as a erythropoiesis hemopoiesis means what is the meaning of hemopoiesis the production of blood it is said to be the hemopoiesis production of rbc it is known as a erythropoiesis so this erythropoiesis process it is a stimulating by the hormone so such hormone is known as a th uh, thyroid hormone th T3 hormone and a T4 hormone. So this is the very very important beta. So there are two hormones are influencing on the uh, bone marrow to producing the RBCs. The so first one is a erythropoietin, erythropoietin, erythropoietin. So that hormone it is a producing from the kidneys. The kidneys are the producing a hormone that is known as a uh, erythropoietin hormone. It it promotes the RBC production inside the bone marrow. And the second hormone is known as a thyroid hormone. It is also stimulating, uh, uh, stimulating the bone marrow to production to synthesize the RBCs. So this is the very very important for the competitive examination. And the next two, so what is the another functions, another significance of these hormones? It controls the metabolism of carbohydrate. It controls the metabolism of carbohydrate and proteins and lipids means the protein digestion uh, in the carbohydrate and the lipid digestion it is carried by the help of uh, hormones so that hormones are called as a thyroid hormones and uh, it maintains the water and uh, electrolytes balance so our balance means inside our body water is present that is the uh, uh, water and it contains the different kinds of electrolytes so that is a sodium chloride and the potassium and the magnesium so such electrolytes are balanced by the maintaining balance is maintaining by the help of a hormone so that hormone is known as a thyroxine hormone so this is the very very important for the competitive examination so this is the uh, functions what is the first function beta it is helping the maintaining the basal metabolic rate and it is helping the development of physical and mental sexual process and the, it is help in the formation of rbc cell that process is called as a erythropoiesis next it controls the metabolic activity of the carbohydrates and proteins and lipids and uh, it is maintaining the water and electrolyte balance so this is the significant role of the 
thyroid gland this is the thyroid gland next to tct what is the function of tct what is the tct thyrocalcitonin thyrocalcitonin it is simply known as a tct it is a protein hormone means this tct it is a composed by a proteins so that's what is called as a protein hormone so it regulates the uh, blood calcium level it regulates the blood calcium level right so this is the very very important means the calcium is a maintaining in our blood by the influencing of which hormone by the influencing of the thyrocalcitonin hormone okay calcium is maintaining our blood so due to the uh, low level of calcium it is uh, going to lead a disease so that disease is known as a titani that is known as a titani so low, low, low concentration of calcium is available in blood so it is going to lead a disease so that disease is called as a titani the wild contraction is occurs in the muscles skeletal muscles so it is going to lead a disease so that disease is known as a titani so that question is given in the all india institute of medical sciences okay so this is the very very important for the competitive examination so low amount of calcium it is causing a disease so that disease is now as a titani disease right so due to the deficiency of this hormone it is also causing a disease that is a titani disease so you have to see here beta so this is the human endocrine system so this is the thyroid gland so that is the functions of the protein hormone okay next to hypothyroidism what is the hypothyroidism enlargement of thyroid gland due to the deficiency of iodine it is known as a hypothyroidism it is known also known as a simple goiter disease in adult women it causes the irregular menstrual cycle so in the adult women it causes the irregular menstrual cycles and the next hypothyroidism during the pregnancy affect the baby causing the uh, baby causing the stunted growth that is known as a cretinism the poorly development is occurs in that baby right so that is known as a cretinism and the next is a mental retardation next symptom is a mental retardation and the low intelligent quotient and the abnormal skin the skin becomes rough or leathery due to the low secretion of the uh, which hormone due to the low secretion of this thyroxin hormone and the next uh, deaf and mutism so this is the uh, symptoms of the hypothyroidism hypothyroidism means decreasing level of the thyroxine decreasing level of the thyroxine it is going to lead a disease so that disease is known as a hypothyroidism low secretion of thyroxine it is going to lead a disease so that disease is known as a goiter disease right next one is hyperthyroidism what is the meaning of the hyperthyroidism hyper means uh, high secretion high secretion of uh, thyroxine it is going to lead a disease so that disease is known as a hyperthyroidism that is known as a hyperthyroidism so this is the very very important abnormal increase of the thyroid hormone resulting in adverse effect on the physiological activities of human being so what is that the, that is it it is causing due to the development of the nodules or cancer cancer uh, tumors inside of the thyroid gland sometimes what happens better the cancer is uh, occurs inside of the thyroid gland and uh, due to that reason what happened excess amount of the thyroxine is uh, releasing into the blood so that is also known as a hyperthyroidism and sometimes what happens better due to the excess amount of oh, thyroxine is producing and uh, it is going to lead a disease so that is known as a exothalmic goiter it is also known as a graves disease so that question it is given in 2016 examination beta 2016 a uh, pre medical examination so graves disease or exothalmic goiter disease it is a uh, caused by due to the lacking of which hormone thyroxine hormone it is a uh, uh, belonging to the thyroid gland exothalmic what is the meaning of exo exo means outside ophthalmic means eyes means the eyes are uh, protruded the eyes are comes out from the orbits so due to their uh, size increasing size so that is known as a exothalmic goiter it is a 
disorder eye disorder so in this disorder what happen beta eye size will be increases so due to the increasing size so that eyes are uh, comes out from the orbits to the outside so that is known as a exophthalmic goiter it is also known as a graves deceit it is a form of hyperthyroidism what is the symptoms enlargement of thyroid gland protrusion of eyeball puffy like appearance of eyeball and uh, increasing the metabolic rate and the weight loss so this is the common symptoms uh, which is visible in the hyperthyroidism patients okay so the next one is a parathyroid gland the next one is a parathyroid gland so these a parathyroid gland it is also located on the surface of the thyroid gland okay so these are the four glands present on the back side of the thyroid gland so one pair each in two lobes of thyroid gland so these glands are responsible for the secretion of hormone so that is known as a parathyroid hormone it is also known as a parathyroxine it is a peptide hormone okay so these parathyroid glands are locating on the dorsal side of the thyroid gland it is responsible for the production of chemicals so that chemicals are known as a parathyroid hormone or parathyroxine hormone or pth so this is a peptide hormone it is composed by the peptide hormone so right the functions of parathyroidism it increases the calcium level in blood it increases the calcium level in blood that is known as a hypercalcemia so hypercalcemia means excess amount of calcium is available in blood it is a, going to lead a this is that is called as a hypercalcemia due to the decreasing rate of calcium it is going to lead a disease that is called as a hypocalcemia hypocalcemia it is uh, going to lead a ketamine disease next uh, stimulates the bone resorption this hormone uh, stimulates the bone resorption that is known as a demineralization means it takes the calcium ions from the bones right and next to it stimulates the reabsorption of calcium by the renal tubule so the renal tubule means that is the nephron part that is the dct and the collecting tube so from the this part what happened beta calcium is retaining calcium is retaining by the influencing of which hormone this parathyroxine hormone okay these are calcium the huge amount of the calcium is absorbing from the digestive food by the help of this hormone and along with the tct it help in the calcium balance in our body right so this is our uh, today's video lecture beta so in the next video lecture in the next video lecture so we have to talk about the thymus gland okay thank you very much students for watching this video by c Thank you.